Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from Paradise, as you can see I'm being blessed by Helios, I'm sun maxing, Scandinavia, early June, best place in the world to be, feels great mate. So I thought to make a quick video talking a bit about the sacred sun, how to properly worship the sun. Um, read uh, Sun and Steel by Yukio Mishima the other day, I will make a book review on my fine page. You must always read all of my articles I post to thegoldenone.se Otherwise you will be reported to the Inquisition, the Inquisition of the Emperor, beloved by all. That's a Warmer 40k reference. Either way, let's get into the topic at hand. First and foremost, sunscreen. Yes or no? I would say no, especially since there has come out a... Um, well, maybe even several reports saying that they can provoke cancer. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but you can look it up yourself. I would caution against sunscreen. Many nefarious components in those products usually. So make your research, be um, cautious when it comes to using sunscreen. Unless of course you are perhaps a ginger, you can't stand the sun too much, you need some sort of sunscreen, but um, make your research so you don't put on some cancer inducing substances on your body. So what I would recommend instead is to simply use coconut oil that will um, shield your skin, especially in the beginning of summer, also moisturizes the skin quite well, coconut oil. So you can experiment a bit with that. I've done it this particular summer, didn't get red at all, just a nice smooth tan directly. Also, in the beginning of summer, of course, don't go out too hard. I know a lot of Northern Europeans, they do this mistake in the beginning of summer. They want to sun max, of course, I want to do it as well, but you can gradually build up your tan so you don't get burned. Getting burnt is, um, that is the dangerous part. Sun itself is not the dangerous part, but if you get burnt, yeah, it's not um, great at all. It's uh, quite bad. So you can gradually build up your tan until you can take more sun. Then, as I've posted about on various social media, what I've done as well this year, is I've collagen maxed, so taking collagen because when you sun max your um, your body's stores of collagen will get uh, depleted. Same thing if you train hard or get a lot of stress. So collagen needed for your skin health, your um, ligaments, etc. So um, yeah, nice skin and a healthy body. You can collagen max and you can of course take it as a supplement which I do myself or you can get it via bone broth so you can make a chicken soup for example you can have some nice veggies in there and you can add the bone broth you can also make it yourself by boiling um, uh, animal bones I might make a Gains Kitchen on it later on probably will be in the autumn though because I don't really want to eat uh, soups in this um, hot weather uh, better to eat salads in the summer it uh, fits better but either way get in your collagen. I mix mine with amino acids because the, um, the pure collagen isn't particularly tasty, to, um, to put it mildly. Then, of course, a last note on sun maxing, why you should do it. We can talk about the disastrous levels of vitamin D in uh, the modern man and woman. Not good at all. You need to optimize your levels of vitamin D, otherwise you are in a world of health problems. Again, I'm not going to bore you with the details, I might make a, an in-depth video of, um, of the importance of vitamin D. Maybe in the autumn, uh, now you will get, hopefully, enough vitamin D anyway. But there are many health benefits of uh, sun maxing as well. So, that being said, I also hope you enjoy the blessings of Helios and the various sun gods. XOXO, boom!